I'm Charlene Holybear. I'm a Native American artist and enrolled member of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. I like it. You like it? You like the turquoise? Mm -hmm. yeah. I live here in Santa Fe, New Mexico. This is my son Justice. He's nine years old. I marked the last few stitches on this pair, and I'll get those mailed out on Monday. Uh huh. So that's going to the Veda Museum. The Wait, that's in Toronto. Yeah. The Veda Shoe Museum. I love that museum. Yes, it's amazing. The Beat It Bands, they got started for my son, actually. I beat it his first pair for him as I was on my way to Gathering of Nations. Um, I wanted him to have something that he could identify with and would give him a sense of identity at a powwow where hundreds of tribes go. So I wanted to give him something special that would stand out in the crowd. I want him to feel proud, you know, that he belongs with all of these people. He was so excited. He immediately put them on and started running around in them. He especially loved getting his picture taken. That was the fun part. We're very close. We pretty much share everything together. Um, we share art markets. He's here when I'm beading. I ask him, do you like my work? You know, do you think this color will work? And he'll come up and he'll think about it. So he gets a lot of input on my work. A person on Pinterest contacted me and she said, oh, I saw your son's vans on Pinterest. Would you make me a pair? I said, sure. Not all the beads are exactly the same. So the process I'm doing right now is called culling. So I'm taking the ones that are most even that would fit within this space. She was the first person who really purchased the pair. And then next thing I know, she was on Instagram. He's showing them off. And after that, another lady purchased the pair for her son and another native from Minnesota purchased another pair. You know, it just kind of slowly started spreading out. And then Vogue did an article about me. I went to sleep that night and I woke up to 500 emails and that was the first time ever in my life I've ever seen my mailbox say 500. Normally it's like one and it's usually like Old Navy asking me to shop with them, you know. So this little tag right here, mm -hmm. that that's the original tag to the bands. So we should try to leave them out there, yeah. Mm. So far, I've done about 15 pairs, uh, including my son's and my own personal pair. On average, I usually tell people it takes two weeks, but I have surprised myself and beat it one side in the day when I'm dedicated and really motivated. <laughs> I actually do see a connection between the slip-on vans and moccasins. They're kind of constructed the same, and moccasins in our culture were everyday wear. So for me, you know, using slip-ons is kind of like an everyday kind of thing. Native fashion, it's almost, a, it's a touchy subject um, because we have some fashion designers that have um, appropriated native designs. And in this case, a lot of the native designs are actually very sacred to us. You know, we have like Coachella and the headdresses and women don't wear headdresses traditionally unless they've earned the honor. We have like urban outfitters using the term Navajo, which is actually trademarked by the tribe itself. And I remember walking into a store and going, oh, hey, Native Fashions, you know, and then I'd look at it a little bit more and I'd go, well, it's kind of kind of generic, you know, kind of vague. I think in my case, I'm kind of doing something different. I'm actually applying my aesthetic, you know, my tribal identity, my sense of design, as well as just being an artist onto a pair of shoes. And in this case, it was just a pair of Vans that caught my attention because of the graphics. I think that's important to, when you're buying native art, to understand where the where that person's from, who they are, you know, what tribe they are, and what influences their art. Native fashion has always been there. Native fashion is our identity. It's how we tell the world that I am Native American, I'm indigenous, you know, I'm one of the first peoples on this continent. And I hope, you know, conveying that feeling into your Native aesthetic creates awareness, you know, that we are still here, we're still fighting, you know, we're, we're not going anywhere. Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.